Hello and welcome to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at this Ryzen 3 3200G based HTPC that I built for just £225 and why it may it days may be numbered in my house. So, this whole project started a couple months ago, when I was looking to get a Steam Link to play games on my TV. And this asshole of a guy was like, I want £45 for this. And I was like, no way, I'm just going to build my own PC. And so I did. First off, I started with the case. This is a fractal design Node 202 that I paid just £20 for. Then, I got the motherboard, which was an Aorus B450i Pro Wi-Fi. That I got for £60 as it didn't come with an IO shield. I found an IO shield for it for £5, putting my total up to £85. Then I used I found some I bought some RAM of a friend. This is 32 uh, 16 gigabytes of 3200 MHz CL16. Uh, and I got that for just £50. After that I found an SSD for £35. It was a pretty good deal as a 500 gig SSD sells for about £50 where I live. And then I found this FSP power supply for only £10. It's a 300 watt 80 plus unit and it's been very reliable throughout the time I've used it. Finally, we have the CPU. This is a Ryzen 3 3200G APU and it was a pretty good price at only 60 quid. There is a bit of a problem with these now. As AMD seems to have mo stopped making them, and they seem to cost three a hundred quid. But that's a hundred dollars or wherever you are for just the APU, which is far too much, in my opinion. But thankfully, I got it for far less. Now, let's take a look at what this 3200G can do in the benchmarks. Now, to start off with, I just want to mention that all the benchmarks were done and it was overclocked to 4.2GHz and 1800 megahertz on the GPU, just so I could get the most performance out of it, except Unity in Heaven would just run at stock. Now, CSGO was run at 1080p, or lower settings, as that's competitive settings, and it achieved an average, it achieved an average FPS of 109 in the community benchmark. This is pretty good, and as you can see, the smoke didn't drop it down too f uh, dropped it down quite far sorry but it didn't drop it down too far in regular gameplay next up we have Titanfall 2 which was run at its recommended settings at first which was a mix between high and normal as well as an adaptive resolution target uh, of 60 fps so basically it was locked at 60 the entire time and it had a VSync of triple left. No. On average, it achieved uh, uh, 58 FPS on average, with 1% lows of 45 and 0.1% lows of 36. But you'll be much closer to that 60 all the time than those 36s. I also wanted to test Titanfall 2, not on a for resolution, and I, but I found that 1080p was just too much for it, so I decided to drop the resolution to 900p and put the settings in the gutter. And with this, it achieved an average of 54 FPS, with 1% low of 36 FPS, and 0.1% low of 2 FPS. So I would recommend using the uh, recommended settings for Titanfall 2.
Then we had Dirt Rally 2, which was at 1080p, low settings, except with high for textures, as at low, the textures just look terrible. Thankfully, we managed to achieve an average of 36 FPS, which I think is fine for this, with 0.1% lows of 27 FPS and 1% lows of 31 FPS. You could play it like this, but if you don't mind the lower like, texture settings, you can drop it down to low, and you probably get a couple more FPS more than 40, which feels a lot nicer. Lastly, we had Unity in Heaven. So, this is a graphics mentor thing. I hope to test every single GPU that comes in to me and compare them. So, on the normal settings, it got 568 points or 23 FPS. This is okay, but again, nothing compared to my 980 Ti, which still isn't that great compared to newer cards. Then on extreme, it got it got 13 FPS and it's 316 points. Again, about a sixth of the performance of my 980 Ti, but it was still pretty respectable for a little IP. Now, there's been a little bit now from the start of the video, and that is the Steam Deck. So the Steam Deck's competitive price point starts to put into question. Why on earth you would ever bother to get something like this? Why would you get an older uh, Zen and Vega based APU when you could just wait a couple months and get a very cheap, very competitive RDNA 2 and Zen 2 based APU uh, system that has a screen, battery, and everything? So I think I'm definitely going to have to think about this. But what I've, I've already pre ordered the Steam Deck, so you should expect a video. Unfortunately, I did not get one for December, I got one for Q1, because I'm unlucky, and I was on a beach when it was the orders were happening, so my signal was pretty bad. But I should get one by then, uh, by Q1, so expect a video then. But yeah, what I'm probably going to do is the, sell the system, and then hopefully be able to purchase a Steam Deck when it comes around. But yeah. Thank you very much for watching everybody, please comment, like and subscribe, and stay tuned to the next video, bye!